If you're looking for a really good chicken dish that you can cook at home, that's nice and crispy and has a lot of flavour, my Penang Crispy Chicken is the one for you. Now, it starts with these chicken thighs. I've left the bone on. It helps to hold it together. And also, the skin keeps it nice and moist. Now, one of the things I like to do is score it nice and deep with a good sharp knife. That allows the flavour to penetrate the chicken and also allows it to cook nice and evenly as well. Once you've got them all scored like this, Pick them up and pop them into a bowl. Now, here's where the good part starts. This is adding the flavour. Now, I've got a little plate here and I've got some ginger that's been ground, some garlic, some chilli that's been chopped and some curry leaves that have been shredded nice and fine. Just throw them on top. Now, we need to add some more flavour. So I've got some cumin that's been ground, about a tablespoon of that some turmeric, which will give it a lovely yellow colour, very much like my shirt, but also has a really nice flavour as well. And some chilli powder. I like it nice and hot, so plenty of chilli powder in there. And also to sweeten it up a little bit, I've got some coconut sugar, about two tablespoons of that. Now, here's where the fun part starts. This is where we add the Penang flavour. This is a beautiful curry paste that will take me all the way up to Malaysia and the island of Penang. Now, once you've got it all mixed in together like that, it's just a little bit of salt and some mixing around. You might want to use a wooden spoon or you might want to use your hands. I'll start with the wooden spoon and get all of these ingredients mixed together. You can smell all those spices and all those flavours. Now, the tip is to let it marinate for at least an hour, but you know me, I like to get it straight in. Now, once you've mixed it around and you can see that all the chicken has been coated in those lovely flavours, it's a really easy tip to do now. I've got a bowl here with a cup of plain flour and a cup of corn flour and to that I add some curry powder. That will give me plenty and plenty of flavour. You mix it around with your hands like that until that curry powder and the corn flour and the plain flour are mixed in beautifully. Then it's a matter of just dipping the chicken into the flour, give it a bit of a dust off and then into some hot oil. Make sure it's nice and hot and always put the chicken in away from you like that. A couple of minutes in the oil, turn it over, nice and crispy, cooked to perfection. This will be a cracking dish. Once they've been cooking for about eight or nine minutes, you can tell they're cooked all the way through. Nice and crispy and golden. The smell of the curry is fantastic and it really smells like I'm back in Penang. I'll pull all these little babies out here. Now, I love using the thigh because I think it's one of the best cuts, but if you've got drumsticks, if you've got whole chickens that you want to break up, whatever piece of chicken you want, even breast with no bone and no skin is fine for this recipe. And you can see, Oh, they're cooked beautifully and they have that lovely colour and the smell of Penang. Now, don't forget, when you finish it off, a little bit of Murray River salt over the top of it just to make it taste even better. And then my tip is let them cool down for a couple of minutes until you tuck into them. That's if you can wait that long.